restart of the computer. Uh, having first uh, put the, um, the the new program in, um, and you can see Windows has found new hardware and is um, sorting itself out. Um, I might add at this stage, whatever you do, do not turn the power on to the CNC machine. Uh, the computer must be up and fully functioning, functioning um, switched on and plugged into the machine with the, all the drivers installed prior to switching the CNC machine on. So that at the moment isn't even connected as in electrically. Okay, so the computer's running, studio's running, power onto the machine, pumps going, she's on. So let's see if it works. So this is the I previously uh, set up the motor parameters um, as per the, the manufacturer's directions and um, let's see if it works. Let's try the x-axis first. Oh, what do you know? And, um, I've set up uh, a new home position for the for the actual tool to go to. So hopefully, it's just a matter of hit enter and it'll do it. Uh, maybe not. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all right. That's its first automotive action. Okay, I've uh, just loaded a G code program into the um, NC Studio and um, I've put a small uh, carving tool in the um, spindle. There at the moment is running on 33%.
Okay. Some of you out there might be wondering, how does the computer know exactly where the tool is? So, in other words, where does it start on the workpiece? Well, I'll show you with just the use of a piece of paper. First of all, I'll explain that um, jogging the tool is just means to move the tool in position. Um, these check boxes here just means I can move it, move the, the, the machine, the tool, uh, 10 millimeters with one press, or should we say uh, one millimeter. I'll just move it, you'll hear it in the background, or I'll actually turn the camera around and you should be able to see it. Move. Uh, I shall move the Z axis up one, mil uh, one millimeter. That's one mil. Two mil. Um, uh, so, and half a millimeter and 0 0.1 of a millimeter. Small amount. Just go back to the machine and. I will go. You can hardly see it move. If you notice, the Z drive axis at the top is just moving. You might be able to see the, the drive lock nuts coming around. Okay, so it's very, very controllable. And uh, I'll, I'll just show you now how to. Um, what we call zero the um, the tool. Now in NC Studio, which this is the program, uh, these uh, measurements here are in millimeters, as the whole program is in millimeters, uh, tells me and the machine exactly where it is. So when we say to zero the machine, it means to put the tool in a position on the workpiece, a start point, and then click, I'll show you, uh, to zero all these. Then the, the, the actual program or the computer knows that is the start point of the, the job. Okay, you just place the piece of paper underneath the tool and you set the job to six. <coughs> Okay, to get close then. Then I can slow the, the rate up. Um, so this is 0 0.1 of a millimeter now. I don't know whether it's rather difficult hanging onto this and hanging on to the mouse of arm's length. Just gripping it now. Actually, it's a little bit too much. Just go up two. And see, it's just scratching it. Go down one. And as you can see, it's just marking it. I'll go up, up one to release the paper. I'll go back down one. We're talking about a tenth of a millimetre here. So that now is perfectly on the top of the workpiece. Now normally um, your, start, your start position is on the edge of the workpiece back here. I'll just um, put it further on in so you could actually see. So I'll bring it out to the edge of the workpiece now, which is why we're on full job. Then 0.1 needs to come back at this way. A okay, very small amount. And that is perfectly on the on the edge there. So that's how you get the tool to the uh, zero point. Now, 
Okay, I don't know whether the camera is picking this up, but uh, moving in those that uh, those positions, then finding that piece of paper was just here. Now, this is from the the last uh, zero point that I made on the last job. So what we're going to do is go zero, zero, zero. So now the machine, or rather, the computer knows that. The, the zero position or the top of the workpiece on the uh, the job there and then it now it knows its start point so now you can uh, go into full jog raise the tool up off the work I should turn this around now you can see so raise the tool off the work and um, no, I'll this load is the just a for very it. small um, program or workpiece that I just ma made. Uh, actually, name in the machine, so it's going to write its name uh, in in the piece of hardwood just as a, a test. Of christened it Gwen. <laughs> turn the feed rate all the way down to 33%. So, I mean, it's still rough, it still needs probably sanding, but um, that's what we got so far. 